that huge celebration at NASA when they successfully landed the Curiosity rover on Mars more than two years ago. You guys remember that? They were so excited. It was good to see this morning a group of people from around the world, including 33 Americans, are a big step closer to making that same journey. Chip Reed's in Washington to introduce us to two of the finalists in this historic project. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. The project is called Mars One because the people who are selected will get a one-way ticket to Mars. The technology simply does not exist to bring them back to Earth. Layla Zucker is a 46-year-old ER doctor at Howard University Hospital in Washington, D.C., and she desperately wants to go to Mars. If you think she's crazy, well, she might just have the chance. Why wouldn't you want to go? Zucker is one of 100 finalists selected from more than 200,000 who applied for a trip to the Red Planet organized by Mars One, a nonprofit group working to establish the first human habitat on Mars by 2024. For a space geek like Zucker, it's the ultimate one-way ticket. Columbus came back, Neil Armstrong came back. My ancestors didn't. Yeah. They came to the New World and they stayed. And look what they built. And despite a very happy life here on Earth, Zucker is ready to sacrifice everything. A perfect husband, I a agree. perfect job, I do. a perfect house. perfect house. Why would you give all that up? If I'm the first person to set foot on Mars, a thousand years from now, when we're a multi-planet species, because I've inspired us to become so, everyone will know who I was. This mission to Mars. The contenders, selected from all over the world, are already getting to know each other, preparing for an up to eight month journey through space and potentially the rest of their lives in very close quarters. Ryan McDonald is a physics master student at the University of Oxford in England who hopes to leave a legacy of his own. For me, it's so much more than just the science because I want to inspire a new generation just like the Apollo moon landings did. McDonald has Skyped into classrooms around the globe to get young people excited about the project. Before anyone steps on Mars, the project has to clear some out-of-this-world hurdles, including physical and technical training for the final group of amateur astronauts and raising an estimated $6 billion to fund the first four travelers to a planet some 200 million miles away. To pay for the project, Mars One plans to broadcast the entire process on a reality TV show starting as early as this fall. The best way to kind of describe what Mars One will be, because something like this has never been tried before, is something like halfway between Big Brother and NASA TV. If the show is a success, the group will launch a series of unmanned supply missions over the next seven years to identify a settlement location and build basic living units, and four initial settlers will depart in 2024. Zucker says she's ready for the challenge of living on Mars. Day to day, you're going to be trying to stay alive. I mean, there's going to be a lot of tasks of, do you have enough oxygen? Do you have enough water? Is, are all the seals airtight? You know, there's going to be a lot of drudgery. Given all the obstacles, her biggest fear is that it won't happen. This is about humanity. This is about the human race. It's a matter um, of human survival. Human survival, yeah. And um, if, if I don't go and someone else goes, Fantastic, but I'm petrified that we won't go. Zucker sees the Mars One contestants as pioneers and says she is ready to fill that role. I couldn't think of a single thing that would make me change my mind. You're going. If they want you, you're going. I'm going. And I'm not coming back. Zucker told me that if she is selected, there are two things she will really miss about Earth. Her husband of 22 years and her favorite food, hamburgers. North. Well, I'm not convinced. Yeah. How long will it take them to get there? Uh, it mm -hmm. takes about eight months, so it's a long journey. And you know, yeah, there are a lot say. of challenges in getting there. There are radiation yeah. issues, and and there are the issues of uh, the, the effects of space on the human body, on bones, and and uh, various yeah. on the eyes. There are a lot of a lot of challenges here. It, it's going to be a while before this happens, if it happens at all. Well, pick yeah. somebody who's enthusiastic. That's yeah, certainly yeah. Lisa well, got one. She sure Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have some people I could suggest, but I have no desire to go. <laughs> <laughs> she well, will remain nameless, the woman I caught with my husband in 1993, but I don't remember the details. <laughs> Just saying. Would you right. rather she go or he go? She, oh, well, you know, he could go too.